Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to In Stairs and Time. It's been it's been a hot minute since I've uh, you know made anything, but here we are. Uh, this is a little game I found on Steam. RPG seems very similar to uh, Omori, Undertale, that, that kind of stuff. But uh, I'm not gonna explain the entire game from uh, I'm not gonna explain the Steam page or whatever. Let's get straight into it, right? Let's just see how this goes. It seems very interesting, so I'm excited to play it. Okay. Beautiful art already. Ah. Oh, cool. The light of the heavens. Am I already dead? No. Okay. Oh, I, I see. I ate the light of the heavens. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Oh. Oh boy. The nothingness. Can I move? Nope, we going back to sleep, I guess. Okay. Frin. Is that my name? Sifrin. Oh, okay, okay, so where's Sifrin? Hello? Good morning. Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Are you taking a nap? Why was I taking the, a nap in the middle of this random forest? That's just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. <laughs> I guess that's smart. Better get some rest while we can. We have to be ready for tomorrow. So we can finally face against the king. Who? Who? Hello? Look, man, I'm... I, I hate to break it to you. I just got here. You're too sleepy to talk. Sleep sweet embraced calls for you. Close your eyes again. Hmm. Okay, then. You can sleep a while longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? You can't spend the rest of the day sleeping. That would be a waste. You force yourself to get up. Wake up, Sifrin. You have a country to save. I- I just got here, man. What, what do you mean I have a country to save? I just got here. I refuse to move around. Okay. Uh, by the way, fair warning before we really get into things. Uh, the Steam page did disclaim that this game deals with pretty heavy topics. So, I'll list them on screen, like, from the Steam page here now in editing, because I honestly can't remember, but, yeah, so if you have a problem with that, probably best to click off, that's fine. But uh, anyway, let's, let's, let's keep going, this is interesting. Bird. Hello. The bird chirps. Oh. In Vaugard, they say birds go pew pew, pew pew, pew pew. What an excellent interaction, thank you. Sifrin, you're up. You sure are. Hey, Mira. Hey, Sifrin. <laughs> How was your nap? A scale of 1 to 10. Let's see. Hmm. We're not going to go with 1, because that seems... That seems confrontational. Let's go average. Is that a good or a bad thing? Average is good. Good, I think. Oh, wait. That's something I wanted to ask you. Um, I have an idea for tonight. This will be the night before we go fight the king, so I felt like we could make it special somehow. So I was thinking, how about a sleepover? Let's all eat good food together. Sleep in the same room. Maybe tell stories. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? I can already tell things are not gonna go well, man. Like, <laughs> I can already tell. How is it different from what you usually do? Well, okay... Ah, uh, you think it's silly, don't you? I'm sorry. I was trying to find something fun to do for tonight, but that's all I could think of. It was... It was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Oh, no, 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 we should not forget about it. Your lack of enthusiasm made me rebel upset. No. Oh. Come on, fix it. No, I think it's fun. Let's do it. You sure? All right, then. Um, so if we're doing it, can you let everyone know? I, I don't think I can convince everyone. I kind of have to now. Of course, Mira. Okay, let me think. Madam, Madam Odely should be in the shop buying items. Bonnie should be near the fields to the east. And Isabo is at the favor tree to the west. We're staying in the clock tower at the east of town, right past the broken bridge. So you can just tell everyone to meet up there later. That was a lot of names and places. Will you remember? Um... Oh, probably not. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a note with everyone's location. Just in case. You, 
forget. Yeah, smart. The reminder note. Thank God I was not remembering any of that. It's already gone out of my head. Put that in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Souvenirs by going to the pocket. Okay. Open the menu by pressing Z oh, zero. Oh, zero is an odd button for. Okay. That's when you contains your pockets, your equipment, and other things. You can try to find those in your pockets with pressing space. Okay, cool. Okay, so we have the clock tower later then. I'll be in the library if you need me. Come talk to me whenever. Oh, and don't forget to check the cha the change god statue. Who the f oh, who the fuck is the change god? Now do we now do we mean change as in change or change as in like money change? <laughs> is this a god that just like you give him like you give him a whole ten euro and he, he 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 gives you back twenty cent? Is this the kind of change god we're talking about or like? Am I gonna go to him and he's gonna like turn me inside out and go, no, oh, well, there you go, you're changed now. Good luck. Okay, bye. Oh, also, also, there's a lot of people to talk to in the Andorra since Snoop around inside of here. You can interact with people and objects by pressing space when standing in front of them. If you need to, you can always configure your button settings in the object menu. Cool, I wanna interact with the bird. Pew pew. Pew pew, okay. Daydreaming one. Hmm. <laughs> The woman is daydreaming, singing softly under her breath. Oh, hi. You're one of the saviors, aren't you? The saviors. Again, I just got here. So, maybe don't call me a savior just yet. I recognize you. And you traveled with a few people, right? You traveled with, um... Mirabelle. Mirabelle, I know her. She's from here. What a wonderful young woman. I never talked to her much, though. Hmm, I wonder, though. She's the younger or older sister of your group? You'd fit both, wouldn't she? You laugh awkwardly. Cool. Uh, can I can I do a bit of breaking and entering? I can. What's this? A little figure of the change god. Been crafting to crafted to dance slightly. What a silly fellow. This one looks very stylish. Okay, who are you? Big hat. Impossibly warm-looking cloak. You must be one of the people traveling with Mirabelle. She's pretty well known around here. Chosen one, you know. Why is there one like ones? You're the stylish one. The one, I, the, the the person outside was the daydreaming one. This chosen ones. Blessed by the change god with the power to save Val Valgard. Plus, before all this, she was a housemaid at the House of Change nearby. She'd take classes, help out with chores, help the other housemaids with their studies and craft. Little perfect Mirabelle. Hm. As for me, I think she's the most wonderful being on earth. <laughs> okay. okay, I thought you were gonna be like jealous or something. Okay. No one of the change, God bless her, when she's this wonderful. I used to go to the house for a lot of my classes, and she was always there, taking the class with me. Never had a class I didn't share with her. She's so cool, so helpful, so driven. Honestly, we're kind of the, we're kind of best friends. Even though I've never had a single conversation with her. Oh God, it's parasocial. No. Talking to people is hard. You get it. You hope she'll get to talk to Mirabel before tomorrow. Okay, what's this? A desk. Have what written letter on it, along with a pile of blank paper. Oh, those are my drafts from Mirabelle's letter. Don't look, please. You look away. Uh, books. Books about a variety of subjects from woodwork into psychology. Some are written in Moodoo. I wonder if it's the stylish ladies from there. Oh. Moodoo. It's a closet. It's full of many beautiful dresses. A dresser. Do not touch! My unmentionables are inside. Oh. Oh. You could have just told me to leave it alone, man. Okay. You're not sure what it is, but it has something to do with the change, belief. Mirabelle has a similar brooch design. Cool, uh... There's, all, there's another dancing fellow up there, I didn't see him. It don't want to sleep at the rest of the house, but you can't go there. I've been told going further than the first room in other people's houses is very rude. Our guardian customs are so weird. I mean... I don't think you should be entering people's houses anyway, but this is an RPG, so, you know, who cares. Right. The bookcase is filled with a series of novels called The Cursing of Chateau, Chateau Castle. You've seen Mirabelle will read one issue, so you assume the series is about romance, and also about terrible things happening to good people. Wow. I'm sure that's not foreboding. Lantern. Torch. Burns brightly. Tell enough to explain the themes and hidden easter eggs in the series The Cursing of Chateau Castle. Can I read them? I have a slight feeling that The Cursing of Chateau Castle is going to parallel this story. So, even more books peeking out from under the bed. Okay, so you're like, you read books. Castle loving one. You know, the end of the world is fine and all. But I only have one regret. I I won't be able to know what happens to Lord Joseph Andre in the final issue of the Cursing of Chateau Castle. Did he manage to protect his castle to the very end? Did he finally find his friend Pierre Jacques Ernest? 
Did he finally no find more about himself? Oh, I'll never know. Is that really what they're worrying about today? A book series? Not that I've been in death or anything? Weird. Look, man. Okay, hyperfixations are wild. Le le let people enjoy things. I'm gonna try it with a bird again. I'm gonna make it my mission to interact with every single bird I come across, so that's gonna get annoying very quick. Fishing one. He he he. I am fishing. You look like someone who would like fishing. Would you like to fish for a little bit? Why not? Sure, let's go fishing. He he, fishing, huh? You don't really know how to do this. Do I get a little fishing mini game? You take the fishing pole they're offering you. Choose a lure the same shade as the water. Check the fishing pole, throw it in the water, and sit down and wait. Yeah, this feels right. Fishing time. Okay, nothing, burger. You didn't catch anything. That's too bad. Hee <laughs> hee. Cool, I'm never doing that again. Okay, what's in here? Who are you? What's this? That's with flowers on it. Cool jeweler. Oh, don't look in that drawer, stranger. It's my awful necklaces I made and need to throw away drawer. Cool. Who are you? The woman sits here, frozen in time. Judging by the way she looks, she's at the last stage of the king's curse. The what? Not even Mirabel could reverse it now. The only way she can come back to normal is if you manage to beat the king. What is the king's curse? Hello? Hello. Welcome to my home, complete stranger. Oh, you're... You're one of the people traveling with that Mirabel, aren't you? One of the saviors. Yes, I like going into strangers' homes. <laughs> Don't we all? Since you're here, can you help me? I'm trying to figure out which necklace to give my lovely, wonderful, beautiful wife. She stops what she's crafting and shows you two necklaces. One with round beads and one with teardrop shaped forms. Next to her, her wife is not moving an inch. Hmm. See, the teardrop one just has, like, I don't know. Probably foreboding, but I've said that about a lot of things thus far, but. Teardrop, like, that sounds cooler. That sounds more unique. Hmm. You're right. I think she'd be happy about this one. She gently attaches the necklace around her wife's neck and looks at her for a while. Hey, make sure to defeat the king tomorrow, okay? I'd like... I'd like to ask my wife which one she actually prefers. Yeah, that, Oh, that's fucked. Oh, that's fucked. Oh, that's... Oh, that's sad. Okay, already, that's just... That's just depressing. After paintings of the jeweler and her wife, they both look happy. Oh, okay, well, I... Now I'm in it for personal reasons. Uh... Okay... Who are you? Smug one. Oh, hey, traveler. You're not from Valgard, are you? That's the rumor, at least. I'm from Pateria myself. I came to Valgard to further my studies a few months ago. Pateria, huh? How are you liking Valgard? It's nice, right? Lots of scholars, good food, welcoming people. Especially their house of change. They let everyone in and aren't shy about sharing their knowledge, even if you don't follow their belief. It's strange, right? I've traveled a lot, but I've never been to a country with such welcoming people. I can move here, to be honest. Why are you the smug one? You don't seem very smug. Well, it's a little awkward right now with the king. I might actually be forced to move here. Permanently. I should pick a good spot to be frozen in. Ugh, not that I think you won't win tomorrow, of course. I have faith you'll win, of course. Valgard is very welcoming. People always notice you're not from here, but they're more, more likely to ask if you'd like to stay at their home for a bit than anything else. Cool. Glad there's that. You, stop running. No. Running one. Ooh, look at you. So scrawny. Scrawny one. Did you know you can press shift to run? You should give it a try sometime. Oh. And did you know you can turn on always run in your options menu? So you can run all the time? Did you know? Did you know about this? Did you know pressing shift makes you run? Did you know you can run all the time by going into the options menu? Did you run? Do you like running? More of a lazy take it easy type. Disgusting. <laughs> I, I mean, understandable. You look like you never ran a day in your life. You need to build up those muscles. Get fast! Get swole! And press shift to run. Rude. You may look scrawny, but you're definitely the fastest out of your group. Hmm. Yeah, see, I have always run on already, apparently, so, uh, get fucked. Statues big and small with different faces. Some of them have sad eyes, other a bright smile. If you were animated by craft. By craft. Okay, so I thought that meant, like, initially, with the little doll thing, like, craft seems to be something. Because animated by craft, not crafted to move. One jumps around and bumps gently into your foot. The chained god, daily worshipped by all the country of Valgard, stands before you. The trouble believing you're finally here, almost at the end of your journey. It was only a few months ago that you, that you met Mirabel. So much has happened since then. 
Okay, flashback or something? Yeah, who is that the king? It was almost a year ago that the king appeared seemingly out of nowhere. Possessing immense craft power, he spread his curse across the country of Valgard, freezing in time everything in its path. With Dormont's house of change in his control, he patiently waits, for he knows his curse can only be rever reversed if he's defeated. This is, his victory would be all but determined if not for Mirabel. Your friend Mirabel is the only survivor of the house of Dormont. After the king froze everyone inside in time and locked the gates, everyone says she was blessed by the change god themselves with the power to fight back the king's curse, making her the only one able to save Valgard. That's interesting. When you met her, she was already traveling with Isabel, Odile, Isabel and Odile, trying to get the orbs necessary to open the house gates and defeat the king. You helped them defeat a particularly strong sadness, and seeing your strength, they asked for your help. You had nothing better to do, so you decided to accompany them. One week later, you met Bonnie, completing your little team. It's a lot of Valgardian cities during your travels, some frozen, some not, and did your best to sidestep the slowly encroaching curse. But still, you all kept going. Mirabel kept going to honor the change God's blessing, save her beloved house, and save Valgard. Isabel came with her after Valgard's defenders themselves refused to, he to help. Odile came to satisfy her curiosity about Valgard, and because, she said, leaving the fate of a country to a bunch of young ones would give me an ulcer. Bonnie came to save their sister, frozen by the curse. You're here because there's nothing else for you to do. Wow, okay. Everybody else is like some big motive. I'm like, eh, I don't know, man, I'm bored. What else are you supposed to do except travel with them? Once, Mirabel asked her if you were okay, following them on a journey to save the country. She felt guilty, felt she was forcing everyone to follow her on a, on a hopeless quest. You wanted to put her at ease, who said, easily and truthfully, that traveling with everyone was the happiest you could remember being. She looked upset. You cringed just thinking about it, truth be told. Maybe not the most considerate thing you could have said to someone with their with her problems at the moment. But tomorrow, one way or another, your journey will end. Okay. Now that all really makes me think. So we're not necessarily that's interesting. That's an interesting take for like an RPG kind of story or like a any real like game story. We're not we're like a almost a the side character in this story. Right? Which I think is I think is very interesting. We're not the chosen one here but i have a feeling i just have a slight feeling things with uh, uh the things aren't going to go well you should believe something very strongly at the change god that's how those work right mirabel and isapa taught you before you can't just ask things be uh, because the change will like when it's this lazy it's the change god my pure belief and confidence will do with the change god only providing a little nudge if anyone is lazy here it must be the change god you think oh well you Believe strongly, or whatever. Uh, hits will super hurt. Best defense is a good offense. If you hit hard, no one will hit you or your friends. You repeat, you repeat under your breath, super powerful, super powerful, super powerful. You actually feel a little more powerful. You do a little flourish with your dagger. You dropped your dagger. Embarrassing. You and your, friend, you and your friends attack got a tiny bit better. Going to the Change God statue will boost one stat of your choice. Now you can save your progress by saving with the Change God statue. Okay. Close your eyes. Alright, sick. That's interesting. Okay, I I'm, I'm liking where this is going. Wow, okay, that's enough for today. Thank the Change God for its blessing and quickly run away, crossing it out from the reminder note. Cool, okay. Doors need to be locked. Interesting. You didn't think a welcome village like Gorma knew how to lock doors. The lock keeping it closed has an interesting shape. It doesn't have a hole for a key. Huh. Okay, do I really- uh, I think I'll- Do I really want to go into every house? Yes. But I'll probably end up cutting a good bit out. Uh, hello? Big Bolanger. Hey, wanna buy something? You'd like to, but you can't buy much with only a silver coin. You show your silver coin anyway. One of those you can get... A third of a pastry. But, aren't you one of the saviors? Talking with a little with a little uh, little Mirabel. I'm stumbling over the text so bad. Don't worry about a thing then. Can I get you anything? On the house? Croissant, maybe. Incredible. Incredible. I've never seen anyone give such a look of disdain when offered a croissant. A pain au chocolat then? Only monsters don't like pain au chocolat. You like those. You not. Huh. One pain au chocolat coming up. You got a pain au chocolat. Yay. Think about putting it in your pocket for later, but it smells so wonderful. Still warm. It smells like butter and chocolate. Try to con control yourself and take only a small dainty bite, but it's so it's too yummy. In two bites, you've already swallowed the pastry whole. Not gonna lie. 
Seeing a tiny one like you, like this. Seeing a tiny one like you eat this like a rabid beast. That was disturbing, but also weirdly satisfying. Okay. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, dude. Uh, what's this sign says? Sign says shop. Ooh, shop. Can't probably can't buy anything, but story loving shopkeeper. Ahoy, traveling one. Oh, you're with Mirabelle and the lady with the glasses. I recognize you. Can you believe Mirabelle has been blessed by the change god to save us all? The change god almost never gives blessings of any kind. It's truly amazing Mirabelle has been chosen. May the change god protect her in her journey. You nod. The change god, huh? What about me? Protect me. Odile is here, looking at what the shop has to offer. Odile. Oh, Zephyrin. You look rested. Glad to see you in this laid back. Glad to see this laid back the day before the end of the world. Anyway, how can I help you? Questions. Um, what will you do after? Well, I don't want to get to the point just yet. After tomorrow, if we survive, I wish I had your confidence. Maybe I'll just go home to Kabua. I haven't seen my country in many years. Or Mirabelle and Isabeau, my main goal is to travel to Valgard and see its many different places, sites, and cultures. I've already accomplished this by traveling with Mirabelle, so... Was it all for your research? Yes. Your research into... Travelology. Travelology isn't a field of research, Sifrin. But it is the field of research you spent your life trying to create. Stop inventing a backstory for me. What about you? What will you do? Who beat the king, that is. Will you go back to your own country, maybe? What will you do? Come up with my own field of research. Ugh. Questions. We're fighting the king tomorrow. We are. I hope you're prepared. The king and the sadness his destruction creates would possess crafts capable of slowing us down or even freezing us in time completely. So, as always, we're counting on you and your speed to keep us out of trouble. Oh, speed. I got more attack, not more speed. Huh. So you want me in the front again? We're hitting everyone if possible. You've already proven good at preventing traps and keeping us alive, so I don't see why that has to change. And as always, you can count on me to provide everyone with intel on any enemies we encounter. Everyone except Bonnie Pace will be on battle duty. But I might ask Bonnie Pace to do something as well. It might be good for everyone to give the kids something to do. Boring tactics talk, I know. I'll shut up and buy items for our journey to the top of the house. Paul, have you found it? Is your field of research tactics? Oh, gems. Are you still trying to figure out what I'm researching? No, my field of research isn't tactics. Isabeau actually proposed that last one. That one last week. Light one. Aw. Aw. Give it up already. None of you will ever figure out what I'm studying. Stay a secret forever. Question. Okay, clock tower. Sleepover. Sleepover? Ugh. You guys really are kids. We can forget about our problems. I suppose so. Nonetheless, I'll be there. Poor Bonnie Face probably needs it. Maybe we all do. The room only has three beds, right? But I got a whole bed to myself. Mira and Bonnie will probably be sharing. Mira and Bonnie? Who will sleep on the ground? You or Isabeau? Uh. Hmm. I think me and Isa will share? I don't want to immediately just assume somebody else is going to sleep on the ground. Fascinating. Anyway, I'll be there. You know, since we already decided early, we'd be at the clock tower and all. Yeah, you already all planned to meet up at the clock tower. So was, was there a need for you to let everyone know? Could have just met everyone at the clock tower. Oh well. Not like you have anything better to do. Anything else? Uh, nah, nothing. Okay, I'll see you at the clock tower later then. You talk to Odile. Press Odile from the remain reminder note. Cool, sick, awesome. All right. Uh, Mirabelle is here, sitting on a bench, looking at papers. Hi, right, Sifrin. Do you need anything? Questions. Uh, well, I already know where everyone is. Uh, how are you feeling? How I'm feeling? Oh, being in Dormont, you mean? Nostalgic. This is where I lived before, after all. I mean, when I wasn't studying or working at the house. Dormont itself hasn't changed much, but the house... We can see it from the village, you know. How distorted it has become. I was the only one who managed to escape the house when the king attacked. So many people must be hurt. Or... Maybe they're all... Mira. We'll save them all tomorrow. Yes, you're right. I should stay positive. Sorry. Questions. Uh, what will you do after? After? Well, won't it jinx us to talk about this? Well, we need to make sure everyone in the house is okay. Greeting the king should make their time flow again, and they won't be frozen anymore. And we need to talk to the head of the housemaiden and apologize for taking so long. She was only supposed to beat the king. She would have done a better job than I did if only the king didn't freeze her in time. But after I apologize, I was thinking of traveling again. You know, you know, as a housemaiden of the House of Change, I'm supposed to keep stri striving for change. Even more than a normal believer. Part of it means I have to go on a pilgrimage. 
which I haven't done yet. Um, didn't this whole journey count as a pilgrimage? No? I mean, I don't think so. A pilgrimage is all about learning new things, and seeing new places, and changing yourself and other people you meet. This journey could have been that, but... I haven't changed at all. I'm still the same old Mirabel. I feel like she's changed a lot since you met her, but who are you to judge? What about you, Sifrin? What will you do? What will you do? Okay, so Sifrin doesn't really know what they're gonna do. Last time they said they're, they're just basing what they're gonna do off of everyone else. Huh. Well, on pilgrimage too, maybe. Oh, that's great. But I thought... Oh, change. Oh, or, oh change. Anything of converting to the house of change? The house would be delighted. I have some pamphlets. Pass. No, I'm fine saying the same person forever. You're fine with it? Oh, okay. I have a feeling. Just a, just a slight feeling. That's not gonna... <laughs> that's, that's not gonna really, you know... Last come the end of this game. Questions. Uh, no, we're, we're good. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Uh, just prediction for this game. I really don't think everyone everything's gonna you know turn out well. Just judging from everything. Okay. The sense says favorite tree. Oh, this is where. Yeah, Isabel is probably at the tree. You shouldn't bother him. Oh, I thought I was meant to go there, but sure. Uh, tutorial kid. Hey, you. The strange adult with a hat. My name. It's Tutorial Kid. Tutorial Kid is the name Agath soon into her clothes. My mom says you're very strong and you're gonna help save us all, but I need to challenge you to know your strength. So, let's play Rock, Paper, Scissors. Oh, Rock, Paper, Scissors. Oh, Rock, you are. Oh, kid, I'm gonna fucking beat you into the dirt. I will beat you into the dirt. I'm so good at Rock, Paper, Scissors. Come here. Yeah! Oh, the music is groovy. Oh, wow. The battle is stylish. Definitely Earthbound inspired. Rock, paper, scissors. The only fight there is. You know how to play rock, rock paper, scissors, right? Who doesn't know how to play? Duh. Of course you do. What kind of person does not have no rock, paper, scissors? Considering it's the basis of combat, of war, of the life. Let's play rock, paper, scissors. Oh, there's no scissors, no. Uh, I can't attack. Craft. Hmm... I always play... Hmm. I only ever play rock, paper, scissors against one person. They always play scissors first, so... Rock. No, fuck! My strategy! Yeah, I threw paper. Paper wins against rock. Which means... F -f 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 I win this round. Okay, let's do it again. Rock. Paper. Rock again. Um, I'm, I'm a confident guy. Fuck. Oh, we both threw rock. And we thought the same thing, that's draw. Ho ho ho. You're truly a powerful opponent. Okay, last round. Rock. Paper. <laughs> Run it again, baby. Yeah, there it is. Toil Kid threw scissors. You threw rock? No, I threw scissors. Why this? No, this can't be. A draw. You're quite powerful, hat adult. I'll give you that. Now you know the basics of rock, paper, scissors, so you're invincible. Our training has come to an end. Farewell. Thanks, little buddy. Is, is that a banana peel? No, you hear the villagers talking about this. Very dangerous fruit which, if approached, will spell your doom. This is just a banana peel. Do bananas even grow here? We'd rather not die today, so you look at the banana peel alone. No. Fuck. Oh, bird. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. Pew pew. As I said, I'm going to interact with every single bird I come across. Just by principle. Okay, uh, hello? Oh my, is that the the house or whatever? That's ominous. Reminds me of Card Castle from Deltarune. Can I talk to you? Hello? Old one. Hello, young lad. Sit down next to me. You said I'm mentioned in the stools by walking into them. Yes, I know. Just walk into them. Very intuitive. Man. We are so fucked. Like, I'm, I'm calling it now. We're, we're so fucked. <laughs> Horrifying, isn't it? Our beautiful house of change warped into such a terrible shape. The king awaits inside. Waits for the entire country to finally be frozen in time. Why, though? What, I want to know what his motivation is. I shall pray for your victory tomorrow. Thanks. I'm gonna go now. 
destruction waits for nobody. So, we gotta hurry up. Okay, it looks this way. That's a West Dorm. Okay. Oh, this is an entirely different, like, side of the town. Wow, this place is big. God, I, I really shouldn't be spending so much time just dilly-dallying around here, but I do want to see everything in this game. Come on, kid. Kid seems, seems to be drawing pictures of someone. Oh, it's Mirabelle. It's Mirabelle. It's Mirabelle. Kid beams at you. Shuffle their drawings around and show you another one. Oh, wow, it's us. Oh, wow. Our first fan art. That's, oh, that's incredible. It's you. It's me. Kid smells and kicks their feet happily. You really like their art. Maybe. Can you draw me something and I can take it with me? Kid looks at you for a moment and gets to work. That's sweet. It's you and your friends. Kid makes a happy noise and gives you the drawing. You got the friendship doodle. Put the drawing in your pocket with your souvenirs. Thank you, talented one. Kid laughs happily and gets back to the drawing. That's sweet. Are these sheep? Meh. Cool. Hello? Flower drawing one. Hello. Ah, are you one of the saviors who's traveling with Mirabelle? You're doing so much for us. Wish I could help you in some way. I know. I grow flowers. Beautiful flowers that can make someone like you happy. Or make someone you like happy. Here, have one. You could keep it or gift it to someone special. Right flower. flower. The flower in your pocket along with your souvenirs. No, oh, I can give the flower to one of my party members. It's cool. Bird. Pew pew. Line one. Uh huh. Is someone there? Yeah, hello. Aha, uh -huh. hello there. Oh, I don't recognize your voice. Are you perhaps one of the saviors? Ah, I knew it. I knew it. It's very nice to meet you. I met another one of you earlier. They smell like snacks. A little kid by the name of Bonnie, was it? If you're looking for them, I heard them go past the bridge just south of here a little while ago. I went to go look at my veggie field. Talk to me about my veggie field. I went back to look at my veggie field. They said my vegetables look really shiny and delicious. So I would die for them now. <laughs> Ah, perhaps I shouldn't make such jokes, considering... Considering they might actually die soon because of the king's curse. Yeah, buddy. It ain't looking good for us. Oh, is this, uh, Bonnie? Bonnie is here, looking morosely at the fields. Bonnie! Hey, friend. Oh, boy. What do you want? Questions. Uh, do we give Bonnie the flower? I don't know. I'll save the flower for a little bit. I don't know who to give it to. I'm thinking Mirabelle at the moment. I don't know. I just... I have a feeling it'll be important. Okay, bring you back tomorrow? No. Not even a little bit. That's alive. Your sister will be okay, you know. Don't talk to me about my sister. But anyway, I don't need to worry about her. It's not like she's gonna move on, move from her spot. Bonnie's sister is in Bamboch, a coastal village hundreds of kilometers from here. A few months ago, the king froze their whole village in time. Unless you manage to beat the king tomorrow, Bonnie's sister will never move again. Uh, why does everything suck, man? Come on. What will you do after? If you beat the king? I'm going to see my sister in Bambouch, though. And then? And then I'll hug her. And then? And then I'll tell her I really, really tried. Tried what? And then? And then you won't be here anyway, so you won't be able to ask me stupid questions, you crab. What about you, anyway? What will you do? What will you do? I'll go to space. Space sounds lame. Bet you can't even go there anyway. Totally can. Wait. Really? How? It's a secret. This is why I don't like you, Sifrin. Aww. Clock tower. Sleepover. Sleepover. That's pretty dumb. Was it your idea? Hey. Mira is, actually. Oh. That's a great idea. Why didn't you come up with it? Stars, you do not know how to deal with Bonnie anymore. Yeah. Bonnie is something. Hmm. See you at the clock tower. Talk to Bonnie. Cross Bonnie for the reminder now. Okay, cool. Who are you? Sky-loving kid. Kid still dances as she looks at you curiously. You look so weird. You from up in the sky? Are you? How did you know? Yes, I knew it. If you're from the sky, then I'm going to give this, this back to you. You got a four-pointed leaf. Oh, a four-leaf clover. Wow. Fell from the sky, but I'm giving it back. Thank you for this gift. Mm. Kid nods stoically. Wizard loving kid. Hey, hey, big hatted one. My mother talked about you. She said you're a traveler with a big hat, but it doesn't mean you're you're a wizard, because wizards aren't real. Are you a wizard? You wish. Nope. Just a traveler. Boring. Kid turns away and ignores you. So mean. Hey, I hey. Big hat means you can be a wizard. Why would you just deny it? Hog loving kid. 
The little girl making a frog embroidery seems too shy to make eye contact with you. Hi. Hi. She seems shy. Leave her alone. If you don't want to force her to talk if she doesn't want to. You smile and wave goodbye. Bye. Cool. Uh, it's in here. Beautiful one. Oh, hello, traveler. The smell in here isn't too overpowering. I'm cooking a lot of different things for tomorrow. All of us in Dormont talked a few days back, and we decided that while you will be exploring the house to fight the king, everyone in the village will be, will be partying. That way, if you win, we'll already have the party in full swing. But if you don't, and we all get frozen by the new curse, we'll be frozen in time, but at least we'll be happy. Man, <laughs> this is, that's, that's fucked, man. That's fucked. Good for you? Ha, huh, I can tell you find that weird. Even if the end is coming for us, it's still a new form of change. And any, and any type of change deserves to be celebrated. Oh god, it's so weird. Yeah, you said it, man. Okay, I think I've seen everything I have to see here. Yeah, I... I don't know who to give the flower to, to be honest. I'm thinking... Mira. Okay... Isabel was here, probably wondering what favor to ask the tree. Isa! Sif! Isa! Sif! Isa! Sif! Isa! Okay, that's it. I'm ending this bit. Oh, Boo. That's how it has to be, Sifrin. Anyway, I was just looking at, looking at the favorite tree. Isn't this tree cool? Hmm. Yeah, it is. I do agree. I'm gonna say it's a pretty... Uh-huh. Tree-mendous tree. Sifrin, please die. Shut up. Oh god, Isa found it funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes! You both laugh. Laughing uproariously, he raises his hand towards your shoulder. But stops and brings it to his side. Huh, that was funny. I'm gonna go soon so you can do your thing with the tree. Do you want to talk before I go? Questions for Isa. Uh, what's up with the big tree? Oh, you don't know about the favorite tree? Well, it's just a random big tree. But when you're a believer of the House of Change, the biggest tree in a certain place is called a favorite tree. It's like the tree with the most power, so you can ask it things as a favor. Like, please help me pass my defender exams, which is like a totally random example. Wasn't Isabo a defender? Did you ask a mythical tree to help you pass your exams? And I passed with flying covers. Colors, thank you very much. Well, I did study very hard, so it's not like the tree did much, but even a little bit helps. You should ask the tree for a favor too. It's a big day tomorrow. Uh, what will, we, what will you do after? After we beat the king? Wow, Sif. So confident. So cool. I like it. I think I'll just re return home to Jovente. I don't have anything else planned. wonder how Jovente is doing. When we left it, it was still standing, moving. But I think the king's curse may have caught up to it. So then, you take your jog back? Nah, being a defender has kind of lost its shine. I always admire the defenders, you know? It's all about protecting your neighborhood, your city. Having them out with whatever they need, be it getting a cat from a tree or helping an old man with his bags. But when Mira came to Jovente asking for help after Dormont's house had fallen, I was ready to help for all, for all of Jovente's defenders to help. And you know what they said? Nah. And I could tell that they said that because they were scared. The worst defenders to see is like a robbery, maybe. So suddenly helping save Valgar was too much for them. We're not helping because you're scared. I just couldn't accept that. That's not brave. So I quit, and I won't go back. I'll do with something else. Maybe it's time for me to do something brand new. I got a secret. I've always wanted to be a clothing designer. So maybe I could take an apprenticeship somewhere. You never knew. That sounds great, Issa. <laughs> I knew you'd approve. What about you, Seth? What will you do when we beat the king? What will you do? Start a comedy club. Wait, really? Are you serious? Yes, absolutely. Yes. Finally, more people will be able to hear your puns. Questions for Issa. Okay, clock tower sleepover. No? Sleepover. Crab, yeah. Doesn't the clock tower have only three beds, though? I'm guessing Bon Bon and Mira will share, and Madame Odalie will take her own, which means we'll share beds again, Sif. I got dibs on the left side. Sure. Yay! Please try not to hug the covers this time. It's getting cold at night. Cool. Okay, thank you, Issa. Okay, I'll be going now. See you at the clock tower later. You talk to Isabo. You press Isabo for the reminder note. Time to go to the favorite tree. Okay. What does the why what does the wise mystical tree have to say to me? What can I wish for? Favorite tree looms above you. You slowly walk closer to the trunk of the tree, where you can see some leaves you can grab. You need a leaf to ask the favorite tree for something after all. You look around for a leaf you like and think, hmm. Asking for a favor from a higher power like a big tree sounds pretty, pretty close to a wish, you think. A wish. A wish. The favorite tree seems to be popular among people in Valgar lately. 
You think that if people came to make a wish, they'd probably wish for Valgar to be saved. You don't really need another wish like that to put into the pile. The trees are probably already on him. But you feel bad wishing for something big and taking away from everyone's wish to save Valgar. Something small, then. Something simple. Something nice. Okay, you have a few ideas. You can only choose one. You wish... There's more places with Mirabelle. More clothes Isabel was made to go with Odile to see her country. To see one. To be here when Bonnie reunites with her sister. Oh, so I have to... Okay, so this... I'm gonna have to, like, choose between people here. Well, Sifrin himself seems to be closer with Isabel, right? So if I want to stay in character, maybe go with that. Personally, I want to say Mirabelle. Just because, like, Mirabelle's got a lot on her plate. And could, you know, could do with the help, you know? I'm going to say Mirabelle. Mirabelle has changed so much since you met her. You didn't realize it. But actually, they'll talk to people while looking at them in the eyes. Something she even snacks back when you... Something she even snacks back when you tease her, which you didn't think was even possible. You'd like to continue traveling with her and see her get even more comfortable expressing herself. You want to stay with them. A wish in mind, you look at the tree leaf you've chosen, and wish. You breathe your wish into the leaf. Repeat it three times, and fold the leaf closed, keeping your wish safe. All done. Gently, you let the leaf go, and walk back to the town. You have a sleepover to go to, after all. Yeah, that's definitely going to be important. So. The clock tower to the east, to the east of town, past the broken bridge, huh? Maybe time for you to head out there. Cool, okay. Uh, bird. Pew pew. Pew pew. I've definitely missed a bird or two, but I don't care. This is the way to the clock tower. You know all you need to do is you can join everyone at the clock tower. And we just, we just fucking leap that. Lantern. Someone probably put it here to make sure you don't get lost. Okay, not the lantern. Oh, here's everyone. Ciprin, you're here. We were waiting for you. Let's go inside. I'm so hungry. You're pretty hungry yourself. I brought up I brought back a bunch of food. So let, let's go, let's go. This is nice. Phew, bonbon. Bon. That was delicious. You keep getting better at cooking, Bonnie Face. Those samosas were delicious. Really? It wasn't bad. You liked it? I, I mean, of course it was delicious. I'm a master cooker, you know. Chef. I'm a chef cooker. That was the perfect meal, Bonnie. I'll sleep well, well tonight and be full of energy tomorrow. It was almost too much, to be honest. Only I can move. Was it too much? You could have eaten more. Oh, Sif, are you so hungry? Friend, you ate a lot, huh? You like my cooking a lot, huh? Here, have some more food since you're so hungry and like my cooking so much. That gives you one carrot slice. Chomp. How could you still eat? How could such a small body eat that much? I'm a growing kid. A growing kid that drinks alcohol? You're older than most of the people here. You wink cutely. Um, everyone? Can I say something? What's up, Mira? Um, we... We've all been traveling together for a while now. It hasn't always been easy, but meeting you all, traveling through Valgar to get the orbs needed to open the house's gate again, there's no way I could have done, done this alone. I... I want to th say thank you for coming with me this far. But tomorrow, we'll go and fight the king. When we storm Valgard into stillness and silence. Someone who has now frozen almost all of Valgard in time. I, I'll do my best to make sure this doesn't happen to any of you. But, but if you don't want to come, if you want to go back home, I would... Kind of late for that, Mirabelle, isn't it? I, I know. I... And by that, Madame Odile means that we're here with you. Of course I do. We've come this far, after all. Do you really think we'd leave you behind? Let you go alone? We'll follow you, Belle. We'll help. Don't worry. We'll stay with you, Mira. We never let her go alone, after all. Oh. Oh, thank you. Isabeau and Bonnie hug Mirabel tightly, while you and Odile stand a bit apart like always. This is when the audience at Ethereum would say, Aww. Well, let's go to bed. We have a big day tomorrow. Indeed. Then, good night, everyone. Good night. Yeah, things are not going to go well. Things are not going to go well. Somebody... Somebody, I mean, probably all of us are going to die. Sif. Hey. Hey, Sif. Sifrin. Sifaruni. Isabel was whispering, was, yeah, whispering your name. Turn around and listen. Um, 
Sorry to wake you up. I just have to tell you something. That's okay. He dares interrupt your beauty sleep. He knows you value your sleep, but this must be important. You nod. Okay, okay, okay. Then I shall tell you the thing. The thing I woke up you all the thing I woke up to tell you. Haha. <laughs> um, okay. So the thing I have to tell you is that I don't have anything to tell you right now. But I will. When uh when we beat the king tomorrow. That's not suspicious at all. Okay? That's so ominous, Isa. It's not meant to be. I uh, just don't want to tell you right now. It might distract you. But we wouldn't want that, right? So, um, tell your woman you beat the king. Okay? What could he want to tell you? It seems important to him. So the only thing you can say is, you know, okay. Okay! <laughs> what? Some people are trying to sleep. Yeah, you suppose. Some people are trying to sleep. Close your mouth and sleep. You close your mouth, housemaiden. You're gonna wake up Madame Odile. I'm already up. And if the noise continues, I will stand up. You do not want to know what will happen if I stand up. Sorry. Sorry, madame. Sorry. Good night, Sif. Yeah, night. Okay. You feel safe surrounded by all your friends. You fall asleep. Well, uh, interesting. I think I know where that's going. I, I don't think it takes... I don't think it takes much intelligence to know where that's going. Alright, the house's gate. You look up at it. The house's gate, huh? Bigger than I thought. So scary. It really is locked shut. I can see this. I can see space for us to put the orbs. This whole adventure. This whole journey. After all this time, I can finally open it. I have my orb right here. Let's go for it then. Yeah, it's just, it's so foreboding that we're starting this game almost, like, at the end of this journey. Slight feeling the journey's not gonna end well, and then we're gonna have to do it all over again. Alright, let's just head straight on. No need to delete out. Can I save? No, okay. I don't need to save, we're fine. Oh, up ahead, that's a sadness. Sadness, huh? House must be crawling with them. Okay, everyone, let's, um, uh, we'll get overwhelmed now. Come on. We've seen tons of those already. Don't worry, Belle. We can take care of them, no problem. Uh, okay, but your Belle seems overwhelmed. Maybe talking would make her feel better? Something to distract her. Something like, oh my, should we go over strategy again? Don't tease me, Sifrin, but, um, yes, I would like that. So, um, start with, Sifrin should. You're about to enter a battle. Here's some basic stats about you and your party members to remember. You! Scissors type. Weak to rock. Okay. Scissors weak to rock. Fast can make everyone faster. Mirabelle is scissors paper type. Weak to rock. The ultimate boost friends attack. It's Isabel, rock type. Weak to paper. Okay, so. Me and M Mira are weak to rock. He says weak to paper. Odile is weak to scissors. As well as many types. Slow can make him slower. Funny. It's not randomly in battle, but most importantly, snack duty. I hate this. Sorry, Bon Bon. Sadness, sadness is in here too powerful for your tiny little arms. You know about sometimes, as long as you make sure to keep your distance. But we know what we know that's boring. So that's what we we also made you in charge of snacks. It's super duper, very important job. You know, the super duper importantest. Don't patronize the kid. Yeah, don't patronize me. <laughs> All good. Yeah, let's get to it. Let's kick the shit out of this thing. Monster time. All right, here we go. So, ooh, that's a, that's an interesting design. Ooh, okay, okay. Don't worry. Focus on healing. Big guy over there can hit things. And you, Sifrin, keep the puns and one-liners to a minimum, please. Okay, room. Examine the sadness first. Know what we're up against. So, your job, Madame. Yes. Please slow down, everyone, and let me attack first for once. When it's my turn, I'll examine the enemy by using a craft skill. Okay, examine. Remembrance of the people that were defeated by the king. Your sinus is all that remains. They cannot tell the friend from foe anymore. Defeating them is all we can do. Every sinus has a different resistance and weakness. Maybe there's a way to figure it out from their appearance. Um, we need to do certain hands on the new craft skills. Maybe we should look at their hands? Very right, well done, Bonnie Face. So this sinus must be... Sifrin? What do you think? Look at its hands. Scissors type. Yeah, it's a scissor sign. Indeed it is. 
Since this enemy is a scissors type, what's the best type of attacks we can use against it, Cyprin? Return again. Rock attacks. Yeah! White beat scissors. Yeah, exactly. Thankfully, even after examining this enemy, it's still my turn. Thankfully, you can use all three types of craft. Yes, it was still paper type, though. Hopefully, the sadness doesn't attack me. Let's go and attack it now. Cool, okay. Uh, rock three. Okay, that did pretty good. Yeah, right hit, Madame Odile. Almost that symbol that appeared on the right after you attack again. I know you said it before, but I forgot. Ah, good eye, Bonnie Face. Don't worry about it right now. Just remember it's there for later. Let's finish beating up the sadness, shall we? No need to slow down for me anymore. It's our turn to attack whenever our attack gauge is sold, right? It's like I just wasn't automatic when we don't anything precisely. Let's see with the sadness now. Okay, is the dialogue done? What 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 can I craft? Okay, I'm I'm all I'm all scissors. Uh let's just go for lowering the defense. Say cool one right Okay. Oh wait, hold on. Does mirror have any rock? No. Uh let's boost everyone's attack. This battle system is definitely very inspired by um, Earthbound, obviously. I haven't played Earthbound myself, which I need to actually do at some point, but, you know, I think it's pretty obvious it's Earthbound inspired. Uh, and naturally, it, it gives me Omori vibes. I've never, again, I've never played Omori either, but, it, like, it does seem similar. I like it, though. This is interesting. Uh, rock, the old rock damage here just kicks you out of this thing. Okay. Boom, it said. Yahoo! We did it. That was easy, wasn't it? It was. Just look at the enemy's hands to find out their tap and attack accordingly. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Breathe in and out. 100 XP received. Cool, okay. We did it. See, Mira? Wasn't that bad. Go through the house, it'll be a piece of cake. He's small. Take the lead. Okay. A lot of dialogue. A lot of dialogue. Uh, I'm sorry if this is, like, not really your thing. But, no, more sadnesses. Let's fight them if we want to proceed. Or we could just run and make sure they don't touch us. Um, um, we talk, keep talking about strategies for a bit, maybe. Hmm. Oh, I don't want a refresher, please. We did it. But really, what were those symbols that appear when you did rock, paper, or scissor attack? We'll see. That's just way too much tutorial. My, my one problem so far is that I think there's a bit too much tutorial. Like, the, the dialogue is fine, because it's a dialogue every game. But I just think there's a little too much tutorial we, we already learned the rock paper scissors stuff i would prefer to be left to i guess understand things myself almost i don't know uh, i hope that's the last of the tutorial but i don't think it is <laughs> yeah let's go fight this thing okay, please let me do this but okay it's paper don't don't hold my hand please stop uh, i hate to skip dialogue but it's 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 just you know Jolly Round Rondo. This thing is really tough. Look at your own roll. Oh, he says attacks. I'm about to give my turn away to someone who does, which is, like we just have earlier, they don't want everyone to put me, I guess. So you're being a rock type. Everyone, I've been bullied by a preteen. Please advise. You'll get over it. But great idea. He's about. Okay, so next, let's. Whoa. Madame Odile. Ugh. Sadness is, is about to attack Odile. He's about to in front of her. Oh, shit. Isabo. Howie. I'll see you all in a minute. Why? Wow. Isabo is KO. You okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. I'm sure you told me to be KO'd for your tutorial anyway. Very true. Let's keep this tutorial going then. Thank you for playing along. No problem. I'll stay right here then. Stop talking! You're KO! KO'd people can't talk, dummy. You know, it's a crash call for revive him, but how about we make this interesting? With. Oh, I remember what those scissor symbols are for. If we do a combo and a, fi a five of the same symbol, we can do a jackpot skill. Exactly, Bonnie Face. And see, we already have a combo of three right here. If we get five of the same symbol with rock, paper, or scissors, we'll be able to use a jackpot skill. Only rock, paper, or and scissors attacks count with the jackpot, by the way. We should be careful with how we use those skills, but we can use any other type of skill or item without breaking the combo. Yay, combo will save me. Please do a combo. You are the man. Let's add two more scissor symbols to our lineup, shall we? Now get ready. I want to unleash the scissors. Okay, so like a 7 to 5 all out attack. Cool. Who won? I'm not out cold anymore. Every time we manage to use a jackpot skill, anyone who's out cold is revived and we'll all get healed a little bit as well. We should try to do combos as often as we can. 
That's cool and all, but what if you won without doing that trackbot skill? Would you just left me there? No, of course not. We have some items. We should have. We would have revived you. We'll always revive everyone who's KO after a battle. Can't make unconscious people run around, can we? Are you really this upset that we left you alone for two minutes? No, not really. I'm super my cart. Plus, the floor was nice and refreshing. That's sad. Is we're not supposed to say it aloud, Bonnie Face. Hey, stay with this little refresher. All good, Miracle? Y yes, thank you very much. I think you got everything too. Cool. Okay. One more tutorial. We're done. Thank God. Sorry for not paying attention, Isabel. Oh, don't worry about it. I'm all good. Anything for the tutorial? Huh. Let's get going then. Okay. Uh, left. A storage room. Let's look around. Let's see if Utonics are on those tables. Make sure to pick them up and give them to Bonnie before we leave. Check the closet too. There might be some cool stuff in there. Okay. Sour tonic. Someone take the bottle from you. <laughs> Deal said I'm on tonics duty. It's tonics are good to keep your HP up so, don't, so you don't get knocked out in battle. They're very sour. The sourness is to make sure you make... make bleh, the, sour, bleh, the sourness is to make sure you're more awake and ready for anything. Like, that took me too long to say. Last time look around. Super sour tonic. Super, super tonics for everyone to share. You know, I was wondering why they're more powerful than regular sour tonics when they're the same size. They're just that concentrated. I tried drinking a full super sour tonic once, and what happened? Couldn't taste anything for weeks. Okay. Again, I, like, I don't mind the dialogue. I just feel like there's so much tutorial dialogue that it's like, okay, I I get it. Healing items. I get it. Like, I, I, I'm really hoping that... What am I trying to say here? I'm really hoping that as this game goes on, it stops being a thing of I walk into every room and somebody has to say something and point out something to me, right? I want to do that myself. I would have preferred if I walked into this room and was able to pick up the tonics themselves and then get a bit of a tutorial, then get told like, oh yeah, these are healing items, right? That's it. But I was kind of told the second I walked in, like, here's what you need to interact with. And I don't know. That's just like, okay, craft of water. We got told about this. This is like revival, right? Water to get a craft of water, knock out during battle. Probably. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got that. Okay. All right, yeah, yeah. I, I, again, I hate to skip dialogue, but, you know, you open the closet. It's full of boxes and papers, and a pendant shaped like a bell. Bell pendant. Well, the closet was useless, but a but pretty pendant, though. A pendant heal me when I'm hurt? Maybe it can. You don't know. Look at the pendant closely. It's just a pendant shaped like a bell. You like it, so you put it in your pocket along with your souvenirs. Not next any useful items to be used to be visible, but you might get some useless but interesting things if you check everything in a room. Cool. Ginger juice. Pepper juice. Lime juice. You just give it all to them. Heh, <laughs> you learn fast, friend. Be careful with those items, Bonnie Face. Carry them well. Be ready to throw those at us if we need them during battle. It's probably safer than making us all carry all of us carry some. But Sif found those. You don't trust Sif to keep our items safe? The person who a few weeks ago mixed up all the items we had to make a so-called super potion? No. I don't trust Sif with these items. Huh. <laughs> You cutely bat your eyes. Still, it's a lot of spices you found there. Oh, oh, I know this one. Pepper raises your attack, ginger raises your defense, and thyme makes you faster. Those spices up makes people angry, ginger makes you not sick. Thyme, well, I don't actually know why thyme makes you faster. Me neither. Okay, cool. Is that, is that everything? There's papers on the wall here. Flyers, they say, how's the change open? Let's see what you can do for the community, and what the community can do for you. It was sparkly eyes drunk, holding hands on it. Hehe, <laughs> I did this a few years ago to get people to come to the house. It's a little embarrassing now. You think they look nice. Cool. Okay, now what's right? There's something sparkling there. What's the sparkling thing? Oh, it's a key. Could be the key to open the door? Probably, right? Pick it up. And there's a locked door. Circle key. Keychain dangling from it is shaped like a circle instead of circle instead of circle. Does that mean something? What's up with the circles? The design on the keychain, you mean? It's one of the symbols of the house of change, belief. It's to show that we're all part of something bigger. The first circle is inside the biggest circle, which is also inside the biggest circle. It's also a part of a, of a housemaid's uniform. Like Belle's brooch. Yes, this is how I decided to wear it. But you can wear it however you want. The necklace is designed on your clothes, or not at all. Breaking traditions is also part of the change belief. And the teardrops on your brooch? Pretty. Goes ding ding when I walk. <laughs> Don't you love it when things go ding ding when you walk? Sure do. We'll let it go. It's fine. Put the key in your pocket. Cool, what's this? Statue of the Change God. It's been destroyed. Oh. Anything else? No. Alright. Well, uh, here we go. Key time. We insert the key into the keyhole and open the door. Alright. Let's go. Step forward and suddenly... What happened? 
Something wrong, Stefan? Huh? Do you see that light? Light? Here. Take a, you should take a look at this. Something wrong, Steph? Point towards the light. So they can't see it. Reaching out, you touch the light. Everyone was healed. Save your progress by touching the star. Okay, so just like okay, so like it's a Undertale save point. Gotcha. Now, is it gonna be like Undertale, and these save points are gonna be like actually like diegetic? Uh, did we overwrite? Nah. It's not overwrite just yet. I'm willing to go back. That seems useful. Come on, turn back towards everyone. What was that about? Received a good omen. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a great news. Oh, well, don't know. Don't care. Let's please get going. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, it would be interesting for another game to do the whole, like, diegetic save points thing of, like, Oh, when you save in the game, it's real. Like Undertale did. And, well, I'm assuming Delphirin is doing. Wait. Gwa! What? What was it? Sorry for screaming. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I, um, I don't know if this is relevant, but I, um, I recognize this corridor. Oh? I recognize it. That house, the head house maiden of this, this house used to warn us about it. I think, I think she called it the Death Corridor. Oh, so they, so even before this place got taken over by, you know, Evil King, this was a Death Corridor. Right. As every good house should, as every good building should, everybody got, everybody's gotta have a Death Corridor, right? So, um, that's supposed to be a safe building with the king here. Some traps might be activated. Is this what you mean? Traps. Traps? Job for me, then. It is your job. Protect us, trap master. Not the first time you've had to reassure Mirabelle. Time to look around. Okay. So I have to, like, look for traps. Broken pillar, nothing there. Pillar, nothing there. Broken pillar, you look around, try to find something, anything. Find something? There is something. Yep, a whole lot of nothing. Pillar, nothing there. Nothing. Something on the... Pillar, nothing there. Pillar, nothing there. Broken pillar, you look around, try to find something, anything. Nothing there. Okay, so this is nothing. Well, you can't find any switches or traps, so. So? So? Are we safe? We're not safe, are we? This is the death corridor. The other housemaid kept saying people died here. There must be a trap. Something weight sensitive or something. Or, or, maybe it's time sensitive. We spent too long here. Oh, come on now. Nothing weird in here. But there must be. Oh, Mira. Bell, Bell, don't worry about it. Mira isn't good at many things, but they know stuff about traps. Hey. Right. We can't trust the one who's supposed to lead us this early. This won't bode well for later. Hey. But, but, we're not dead yet, are we? Well, that's true. We have been in this room a while. Zephyr has been walking everywhere, so if it was white sensitive, something would have killed him by now. Exactly. It's all fine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll believe you. Sorry for worrying. I'm a little on edge. We're good, Mira. I didn't see that dialogue option. Everything is fine. I'm about to get gotten killed. Oh! Giant fucking boulder. As you live through the novel experience of having your body crushed by a giant rock, you feel a tug on your stomach. And... You died. Huh. This is a groovy death screen. Start again. Loop one. Oh. What about my save point? Huh? Sifrin! Sifrin! Sifrin? Good morning. Well, more like good afternoon, I guess. Were you taking a nap? Just like you. Only you could sleep peacefully at a time like this. <laughs> yes, guess that's smart. You better get some rest while we can. We'll be ready for tomorrow. You can finally face against the king. I've been here before. Oh. You still have sleep, aren't you? Just look at her. Hmm. Okay, then. Let's sleep for a little while longer, but not too long. Come to the village when you're ready, okay? Well, looks like we're in a time loop. Uh, look. I guess I was right about... Well... I know right about the diegetic save points thing. Huh? Huh? Hold on. Did you just die? You did, you think. You must have. You were in the house and then a big rock fell and now you're in the meadow, back in Dormont, and what Mirabel just said to you, waking you up, that was very familiar. But 
The trap. The trap. You idiot. You stupid fool. It's your job to take care of the traps and you got taken out immediately. You didn't even see a glimpse of the king. It's your job, stupid. Your job to see ahead, take care of traps. You couldn't even do your job now. You're dead because you did a sloppy, awful, terrible job. And you died. You died. You felt your body being crushed now. You're laying on the grass alive and your skin itches and your stomach hurts and you died. Put your hands over your mouth and scream. Stars. You're so stupid and useless and dumb. Ah. Okay, so we're getting into... Remember when Sifrin said, Oh, yeah, I, I won't change at all. I'm fine being the same person. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Told you that was going to be important later. Okay, you're over it now. Take a deep breath in and out. Phew. You put your shaking hands behind your back, pressing them hard between you and the grass. Okay, you died. That's one thing. Now you're alive and not a crap. That's another thing. It's apparently the day before back when Mirabel woke you up from your nap. That's the third thing. You went. I went. Back in time. Okay, that's normal. Totally normal. Totally 100% completely normal. Oh well, at least you're in the lead as always. Judging by where you were when you died, you were probably the only one who got hit. The only one that... You know what, you're really glad you're forced to take the lead every time you and everyone else get somewhere dangerous. But... You're back. Back to the day before you went to the house. How? And why? And... Can you make sure not to die this time? I mean, look man, I can fucking try. Back to work, Sifrin. Of a country to save. Got a memory of looping. You'll always remember this. Memories are a type of item you can equip. Each memory is specific to one character and gives them special abilities. For example, the memory you just got can only be equipped by you. The memory of looping is equipped to help boost your max HP by five plus five every loop. You can equip memories by opening your menu and going to the equip section. Cool. Okay, I like that. That's cool. What's that voice you've been hearing this whole time? Oh. Okay, so okay, we're we are going the diegetic route. Okay, uh, the memory of salt, memory of looping. Yeah, I got nothing else, alright. I can already put in the other, like, I can't remember. Oh, wait, hold on, there was a, there was a something. Go back, there was a something. What are you? Same light that you saw inside the house. Reach towards the light. Close your eyes. Let's, uh, let's just save over. Who cares? Well, that's interesting. Really, really interesting. Okay, um, I'll continue a bit up ahead, but this will probably be the end of uh, this first part here. Sifrin, you're up. Oops, you don't know how to act right now. You've seen this once before, so you should maybe act the same? Figure something out, quick. Quick. Hey, uh, hey again, Mira. Still have to sleep, huh? How was your nap? Okay, take two. Say something. Uh, make normal words come out of your mouth. Smart and normal words. Go. Yes, correct. I was taking nap time. I know that. I was there. No, oh, stars. Oh, wait. I had something I wanted to ask you. Um, I have an idea for tonight. It'll be the, the night before we go to fight the king. So I feel like we could make a special somehow. So I was thinking, how about a sleepover and so I'll get good food together? Yeah. You've seen this. You know, I wouldn't. It's only you remember where this conversation is heading. This is the moment in the conversation when you made Mirabel upset. Can you change it? Can you change fate? Only one way to find out. Something like... That sounds like an amazing idea, Mirror. Yeah? Oh, I'm so glad you think so. I was thinking it was a l I was thinking it was a little silly, but if you think it could be fun, then great. Ah, I can't wait. This will be delightful. I was finally just thinking about it. Mission complete. So you can change things. This was a small change, but if your fate isn't set in stone, then... So could you let everyone know? I would really appreciate it. Sure. Okay. Let me think. I don't know, the deal should be in the shop buying items, body should be in the fields to the east. Oh, I can skip. You think so, yes. I always remember things. Well, unrelated to your memory, here's a note with everyone's location, just in case. You, forget. Get the reminder note. Okay, yep. Six o'clock over later then, we'll be near the library if you need me, come talk to me whenever. Oh, don't forget to change shot, it's at you too, for good luck. You wave goodbye. Okay, that was slightly different from what you remembered, but still. It seems you really are repeating the same day, but small differences. And Mirabelle doesn't seem to be aware of it. Are you the only one repeating today? What should you do? Good fucking question. Oh, oh, so. Come to the favor tree when you have a second, Stardust. Huh? Hello? The voices? What? 
Okay, let's let's go pray to God. Still here, looking down at you. Would the chain of God be mad if you got a blessing again? Wouldn't know. You believe strongly, or whatever. Now, what do we think will help us with the big rock? I'm thinking super fast will help us with the big rock. Super fast. Always attack first. Don't leave the enemy a chance to touch you. Repeat under your breath. Super fast, super fast, super fast. You actually feel a little faster. You jump in place trying to notice if anything changed. You jump right on a pointy rock. You don't tear up. Not mu that much agile. Not that much agile then, huh? You and your friends... Attack speed got, po got boosted a little. Once per loop, you can go to the change god statue and boost one of your stats. The effects of the statue will be reset every time you go back to Gorman. So, every time you loop back here, don't forget to go to the change god statue, okay? Close your eyes. Okay. Well. Okay, that's enough of this loop. Take the time to change god for the blessing and quickly run away. Uh, I'm gonna leave it there. For this, uh, for this part. Very interesting game so far. I'm actually really enjoying this. A lot of dialogue. Again, the tutorial was a little in your face, I think. But, you know what? It's fine. Didn't get a whole lot done this episode, which is my bad. I did go interact with every single person in every single house. Uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing the more of this. I hope you all manage to enjoy this the same way I'm enjoying this. Uh, the premise is very interesting. Uh, I'll just talk a little bit about just uh, what we've seen so far. The loop thing is definitely interesting. I do have a soft spot for games that do the whole, like, oh, game mechanic is diegetic thing. Uh, again, like, Undertale, Deltarune, uh, Off, another one. Uh, I'm loving the style. The style is very good. The characters are great. Really enjoying all them. Uh, absolutely every single one of us is doomed by the narrative, I have a feeling. I I'm, just, I'm just assuming, come the end, not everything's gonna go well, even if we, you know, time loop, right? That's just a little call I'm making, but but either way, I'll st I'll stop rambling now. Uh, that has been the first episode of In Stars and Time. Uh, hope you've all again I've said it multiple times. Hope you've all enjoyed. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, I, I would appreciate uh, you know obviously you know standard you know, YouTuber spiel. Oh, like, subscribe, comment below, w w whatever, man. Uh, it just would really mean a lot. I'll stop rambling. I know I have to do that a lot, uh, but either way. Thank you again. That has been me. See you next time, ladies and gentlemen. Good night.